Okay, so today is June 18th. It's Thursday and it is almost 10 o'clock at night, so I just wanted to make this video. Oh, I had a very busy day today. So, yesterday night, my, I was in Bible study and my psychologist left a message on my phone saying that she had sent the paperwork to, I guess, her office administrator to fax it to the hospital. Emailed the hospital this morning. They didn't get it. Called her office administrator who said that the email he got from my doc, from my psychologist, didn't have the form in it. He had to call her and see if she um, could send him the form again so he could fax it, etc., etc. So I was emailing my... Um, the hospital, the people at the hospital that I speak to about all my information and let them know what's going on and she asked me if I'd been to a support group which I hadn't um, for many reasons mainly because I felt like one, I kind of felt like it was optional and I have support-ish I have support here you know and plus um, their support groups are in Baltimore and I am about an hour away from that so wasn't too excited to go to any kind of support because I feel like I don't really need it. But she did say that I would have to go to a support group before I could get a date for my surgery. So that was a blow. And she said that they meet up every second and third Thursday. And today happened to be um, the third Thursday of this month. So I said, well, if they're, are they meeting today? She said they meet between five and six. So I had to basically call around my family, ask my mom and my sister and everybody, see who could take me and how in the world I could get to Baltimore today. So me and my sister, we ended up going to Baltimore. And my brother was watching our kids and it was just crazy traffic. We left two hours before um, I had to be there at five. We left around three. Actually, we left around two something because we had to get gas and I had to get change I had to go to ATM because of tolls whatever but we left around two hours before and I still got there about four minutes before it started like very very took us a long time with all the traffic so I went to the support group and so that was interesting they did like a little questionnaire thing where they just went over some frequently asked questions and then People were just talking about their experience and any questions anybody had. So, um, I don't know. A lot of the questions were about the bypass because a lot of people in there were having. It was only a couple of us, like a handful of people, was get who would get the sleeve, and so I kind of. The answers, I guess, they kind of freaked me out a little bit. Like, things I did not know could happen. Like, um, constipation. I knew constipation was an issue for a lot of people because you don't get as, you can't get as much fiber in. I knew that. But, like, incontinence, I, I wasn't aware of that. That's, that's something to think about. And then there's, like, um, just all these other things. And I don't know. And I'm looking around this room and I'm just like, I feel like the youngest person in here. Like, and I don't know, it just made me feel really weird. Like, just really weird. And then when I was, um, I come home and I was just thinking, you know, I was just having one of those moments where you're just like, what am I doing? Like, what am I seriously doing? I'm about to change everything in my life. Everything. Because in my life, food is everything. It is how I react to things. It is how I interact with my family. We go out to eat. We, you know, we don't go to places. We go out to eat. And I'm just like, you know, what am I about? To, what am I doing? And also, I want to mention that on the way there, during the two hours it took us, two hours plus it took us to get there, my father. Um, text me and he told me to um he told me to watch this video um 
that he had found on YouTube. And it was called um, 10 Things That I Regret. Um, no, 10 Things I Wish I'd Known After Having, After the Gastric Sleeve. And he said he wanted me to watch it and felt like um, he really wishes I would reconsider doing this. There are too many possible side effects. And I told him, first of all, I was like, 10 reasons. Hmm, 10 things I wish I'd known. That sounded really familiar. And he yeah, just this, this. Anyway. The reason I sound familiar is because I, I saw that, that video. I'm all wrinkle. Yeesh. Whatever. But I saw that video and I know exactly who that was. Um, I've subscribed to her. Um, her name is Clusi, I think. I don't, I don't know how you pronounce it. But I subscribe to her and I, I watch all of her videos. Because they're, they're hilarious. And she's very honest. And I love that about her. And so I told him that. I, told him, I saw her video. And... You know, I, I understand the things that go along with this. You know, heartburn and stuff like that. I understand that. You know, I and I am willing to take those risks. I am willing to accept those side effects. And I guess when I got home today, I kind of felt like, you know, just having one of those moments where you really, you think about what you're really changing in your life. You know what I'm saying? You think about all the things that you're really going to change. Like, you know, all the things that aren't going to be the same anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, me and my sister, we normally would go out and we would go to the movies and get something to eat. We normally would try to find some crazy restaurant we ain't never seen before in the back of the corner or whatever and try it out. You know, and we have a lot of fun. And me and my best friend. We, you know, I think I mentioned this in another video, how we, you know, go to the movies, we get popcorn, we have just, you know, we go out to eat, all, and it, it just, a lot of what I do has to do with food. But then I was watching um, one of her videos, um, and it mentioned, what was it called? It was called, let me see if I can find it. Right, it was called, it's bariatric surgery right for me. I don't think I ever watched that one. But um, she just mentioned making this decision for yourself and not letting everybody, you know, influence you. And one thing she mentioned that I actually had not thought about was how people talk about, you know, how dangerous surgery is. They talk about how, you know, how much it could hurt you, all the things that could happen. But nobody ever thinks about the things that are happening to you now. The diseases and the issues that you have. Like, even as I am making this video, my back is bothering me. And it's just like, it's one of those things where, for me personally, I have been overweight since I was a very little kid. Since elementary school, I was overweight been that way since I was young and so there's a certain level of pain that you're used to it's just it, it's it's your life now you're just yeah my back hurts of course my back hurts my back's always hurt you know what I'm saying like it's not I never stop to think about how my weight affects me because to me that is life it is it is no there's no separation between how I am and what my weight does to me because they just go together they always have so, watching this video of hers just made me think about all the things that I just accept as life. That I don't consider what's really, um, what's really going on with me. And I do have, you know, other issues and, and things like that, you know, and diabetes and stuff. And that runs in my family. And, like, there's so many of us that have diabetes. My family is crazy. And I don't want... I want to grow up and grow up like I'm not grown already, but I want to um, eventually have children and I want to be able to teach my children healthy eating and I don't want my kids to have, you know, diabetes and stuff. And I have to be willing to to make this kind of a sacrifice in order to to do that in order to, you know, say I can't teach something that I don't know, you know, what I'm saying if I don't know how to live right, you know, live healthy. 
how can I teach that? You know, and it's just, and she um, talked about a postcard that she had and how it um, was something that she had looked back on to kind of remind her of what she was doing and why she was doing it. And I remember when I first started this, the one of the first things I did was I wrote myself a letter. And I still have my computer, I should probably print it out or something, but I wrote myself a letter um, basically explaining why I'm doing this, why I decided to do this, what, you know, my reasonings are, are for it, because I knew I was going to feel this way at times. I feel like I am, I am, lo <laughs> I've lost my mind. I am going to have a surgery. I'm going to have surgery. That's, that's what I am. I am asking my insurance. I am asking the hospital to please let me have surgery. Like, that's not something that people normally do. And you, it kind of just dawns on me every now and then as I'm getting closer and closer to the time that I really want to have the surgery because I want to have it in August. Um, yeah, because in July, my, um, I take all my, my trips, family vacation, and my vacation with my sister. So, I, um, I'm getting closer and closer to when I want to have it. And it's just like daunting on me what I'm doing. The sacrifices that I'm going to have to make. And then I, I'll get hungry now and I'm like, you know, you're eating all this food. And you're like, what if you can't stop? What if you can't, you know what I'm saying? What, what if you just have to have this this chocolate cake or something? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just constantly thinking about stuff like that. But I feel like I have proven to myself that I can do this. Now, I'm not saying that I, I am, you know, I need help. Otherwise, I wouldn't be getting a surgery. But at the same time, I, I know I can eat healthy. I know that I can teach that to me, to myself. And, you know, there are other things that I was concerned about. Like, I was telling my sister today, you know, after the surgery, I'm not going to be, I'm going to be on liquids and pureed foods for a while. And while I'm doing that, I'm still going to have to cook their dinners. I'm still going to have to cut up chicken for their meals. And I'm still going to have to, you know, cook all this food that I can't have. And that's going to be a problem for me. So, so just struggling with that and just really um, trying to remind myself of why I'm doing this. Because sometimes I don't get the support that I'd like to get. And I was telling my sister that today that I feel like I can't really talk to anybody about it, which is so odd. Because I'm not really a talker. I don't know, I guess, I just want to do that off my chest. But at the end of the day, I have to realize that I'm doing this for me. And that people, sometimes they will be before you. They will, you know, they will be in your corner. And other times, they will not. And whether they are there or they are not there, it should not, de you know, determine what you do. I have to do what's right for me. And I know that the surgery is right for me. It is definitely scary. But I have to do what I have to do. However, I have to do that. So, that's all I have to say for now. Right now, what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to email my um, office coordinator let her know that I did go to the support group. Amy. And see if she got the information from my psychologist prayerfully and go from there hopefully she can turn it in sometime this week and maybe tomorrow because this week is about to end tomorrow and we'll go from there and see what happens <sighs> fingers crossed